Hey, what's going on, everybody? Sam Nash, Green Scribe of Spirits here. Joining me today is my good buddy and fellow whiskey enthusiast and, you know, bourbon steward and bartender extraordinaire, Mr. Ryan Hooks. Thanks for having me. Uh, Ryan and I are planning some fun stuff in the near future. We'll be at the Kentucky Bourbon Festival together. So I wanted to introduce him to you guys before September. And uh, I figured what better way to do that than with one of his favorite brands in the world. Today we're going to talk about the Old Forester Single Barrel Rye. Yeah. A big thank you to our friends at Old Forester for sending us this media sample. Um, as always, the presence or absence of a sample does not affect the outcome of the review. As you can see, I have had a little nip off of this after taking a photo. And for a guy who's not a big fan of rye, this is really fantastic. Well, I mean, I am a big fan of Old Forester and I'm a big fan of rye. So, shall well, we? <laughs> we shall. As the clock, you know, 124 proof. Obviously, single barrel means it's gonna be different every time. 62% ABV. This is going to be nationally distributed. Uh, it is not going to be part of their single barrel program right now. They will for picks, unlike, you know, for instance, this bad boy from this store out here called Cypress Craft, picked by the OC Bourbon Society. Shout That's out right. to them. The wind is at our face. This is the problem with long hair, Ryan. I hate you for having short hair. Uh, that's why I just got a cut. It looks streamlined <laughs> for the ladies. You're married. Exactly. <laughs> the lady. <laughs> Cheers, buddy. Cheers. All right. So I was fortunate as well to have some of the 117, which I, I you really enjoyed, and I thought yes, came I off. was able to actually to give you a little bit of the 117 that I received from a media sample. I was fortunate enough after my review, you know, Ryan was nearby and I'm like, all right, you know, let's pour this for him. I'm sure he's really going to enjoy it. And you know what? I thought it came off kind of hot. Um, see, but I like hot. I, we'll see. I, but I, what I smelled, the, the reason I'm saying that is when I smelled the 117, on the, I got hot on the nose and I got hot on the palate. When I'm smelling this, even though this is a higher proof, I'm not getting that same hot. I'm getting a lot more of that sweet, grassy rye. Speaking of the 117, by the way, obviously we're referring to the first release of the 117 series, named after the distillery address at 117 and 119 uh, Main Street, right? Yeah, yeah, Whiskey Row, Main Street. On Whiskey Row. Louisville, Kentucky. Uh, this was the High Angel Share 110 proof release. Uh, and I'll put a link in the upper right hand corner to my interview with Jackie all about that release because that was a fun time having the chance to chat with, you know, such a powerful, amazing woman and, you know, just a powerful, amazing whiskey maker. Let's do this. I get those earthy, rye, grassy notes, but they're chocolatey. I get a lot of chocolate malt on this. Oh, sweet. Mmm. That's bitter. It's really interesting. It's chocolatey and it's bitter. It's tannic, like a nice Very red tannic. wine. That, that finish just sits in the back of your throat. I have it on my back of my... No, actually, the front of my tongue, I have yeah, a finish. Right the tip of your tongue. Yeah. Your little... <laughs> yeah right there. Like it's tingly uh, a little bit and burny. But in a good way. There's yeah, like, so there's like a lot you know... Of... Sweet. There's a lot of sweet, grassy nice, rye. Nice, fresh bread, even, a little bit. You know, like a nice, up. fresh, white bread that you get at, like, you know, a restaurant. Like, a hot piece of bread. Yeah. Like, rustic, Italian, like, sourdough or whatever. So, herbs, basically, is what you're saying. <laughs> Prob <laughs> there's probably some grain in there that's, like, maybe rye. I don't know, maybe there's some rye grain in that bread. Nah, rye and rye whiskey? No, no. no. I know what you mean, though. Like, that herbaceous quality that you get yeah. from, like, a French or Italian-style bread that is fresh yeah. out of the oven. Fresh out of the oven, you know, that, like, uh dusting a flower kind of on top sure. that kind of I don't know how to describe it you know you worked in a high-end kitchen I do that. <laughs> well I mean you're thinking about yes obviously they cut it with the flour for the cutting quality and also some of the herbs they probably throw on top of it. yeah like an oregano a fennel or something like that I'm always a fan of, of taking my whiskey and rubbing it in my hand I don't know if you ever do that I used to do that I used to do this uh -huh. you know like shake it up and like rub it in my hands but then I noticed that I'm just getting the same sense all the time so I stopped kind of doing it. I'm like, oh yeah, you know, at first I'm like, oh yeah, I get this and this. I'm like, wait a second, I just get all the same notes now on every whiskey. Yeah, I just get grain and a little bit of barrel. Still that sweetness though. Yeah, no, definitely a lot of sweetness. Especially for a rye whiskey, this is insanely good. You know, 
Uh, the words are not coming out of my mouth right now. Um, Ooh, there's a lot of honey in there now. Ooh. And for those of you who have never done that before, basically what we did is we put it on our hand and rubbed it to heat it up. What that also does is it takes away some of the alcohol in there and all you're gonna get left over is the notes from yeah. the barrel, from the flavor profile. Um, it's actually really fun to do for whiskeys who've never done it. Like I said, I found, I didn't really, I, like honeysuckle in there that I didn't find when I was tasting it, but now that I'm doing this. I get like this, orange honey. I get like the orange flower water. Or yeah. Honeysuckle. Ryan, why don't you go make us a Ramos Gin Fizz? <laughs> you can help me shake it. <laughs> <laughs> um, we could do a, a rye whiskey raw motion fizz and just call it a day. Raw motion rye fizz, sure. I did, uh, yeah, right, raw motion fizz with, with rye. Uh, I did, one time did a raw motion fizz variation where I used uh, Cointreau as a key ingredient. So it was like an orange creamsicle, and then it had like a little bit of tequila in it. Oh, that's kind of cool. Uh, so like it was good. overpowered with the, the, with the orange flavor. Um, so it was just an orange creamsicle instead of a traditional Ramos, which is like that sounds pretty good. good. Man, this is really good. I would definitely say this is one to look for. Definitely. Um, if you're on about and you see this, buy it. Um, obviously, you know they're not going to tell us what barrel this is because sure. it's a media sample. Although I did look just to make sure. Um, yeah, so this is a single barrel rye barrel strength old forester. Uh, should already be in the market. Definitely, I think it's at the east coast. I've seen it pop up. I don't know if it's all the way to the west. I don't think it's yet. west yet. Yeah. Everything always goes east first and yep. then hits west. Because like all the shipping ports are over there, like Florida and shit. Um, Where the boats come in? Yeah, you know, Florida, maybe other like port side states that, you know, I'm like bad with geology. Anyway, yeah, you're bad at the geology for sure. Um, you know where all the dinosaur bones are down in Florida? <laughs> no, that's gemology, Ryan. Oh, gemology, sorry. That's where <laughs> Cheers, you guys. Here's the, here's the Scientology. Here's the ology.